This is the M12 Warthog from Halo. This is my ultimate scale mock of the Warthog. And these are various modular additions that I've made for the mock. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can swap these out to make various different types of Warthog. Some of these are from the games, and some of these are ones that I've made up myself. Now, let's get into it, shall we? If you haven't seen it yet, I've developed a pretty cool looking Warthog mock with suspension and steering. So, check that out if you're interested in that. In that video, I showed off that I designed the rear to be modular. Instead of having to have various types of Warthog all built up with different functions, instead, I now only need a few and I can just quickly swap out the backs. If you actually look at the latest Warthog set revealed, Mega has done this, but to a lesser extent. It's not amazing, but it is a start at least. So, to do this, all you have to do is lift this rear section off, release this piece here, and then slide out. Now, you get your new rear section, slide it on, and reassemble. Yes, it could be easier, but it is still relatively quick and easy, whilst keeping the build sturdy. So, let's start with a classic Halo Warthog variant. The Troop Hog. This was first featured in Halo 3, and is a pretty cool variant. Terrible for troop protection, but hey, if you want to get troops from A to B quickly, it works. There is a slightly different Halo Reach variant of the Troop Hog. I like that as well, but in general I prefer the 3 look so that's what I went with. As you can see, I swapped it out, and here it is. I don't have a ton to say on it really. It's a relatively small modification from the original rear, and it's been rebuilt to accommodate the troop hog pieces that Mega manufactures. It is a little wider than the normal rear is, and it can accommodate around five to six guys in the back, although I gotta say it is a bit of a push. I've also added a handle at the top here, allow the figures to grip onto it. Annoyingly, I don't have any Halo 3 Marines yet as they're pretty much impossible to reasonably get in the UK, so these infinite Marines will have to do. That's it for the Troop Hog, now let's move on to the next one. So if we swap out the rears again, we get this. This isn't an exact reimagining, but it is inspired by the Halo Wars Red Team Warthog. With this one, I've basically added a bunch of attachment points for various gear to be attached on the sides. So this is gear such as bags, backpacks, jerry cans, spools, and we have other gear here such as the target designator and a missile launcher and an axe on the back. The beauty of it being brick built is that you can reconfigure it however you want. So you can move things around, change things, load it up with all sorts of different gear for different missions and things like that. So as usual, you can also attach any turret onto this bed if you want. But the first one I have here is this smaller lighter machine gun turret. This gives it this kind of interesting 21st century sort of look. But you obviously cannot forget the Gauss cannon. So, to complete the Halo Wars look, I've added the Gauss Cannon. This is a version that I've actually made quite a while ago. It does the job, but it could probably do an update sometime. Finally, I've quickly mocked up this gullwing door section for the Warthog. Let's be honest. The Warthog could really do with some protection, at least for some of the passengers. As it has appeared in Halo Wars, I guess this is loosely inspired by the Forge Hog variant, but it doesn't really take a genius to add some doors, does it? So these consist of a one stud wide brick section, which do end up looking good, but they do kind of squish the guys in the seats, unfortunately. There are also these attachment points on the outside to attach various different guns and things to, so you don't need to store them internally. So yeah, this is what they all look like together, as one big warthog. And finally, we have, by far, the most exciting variant. The flatbed. Yeah, I know. 
So you attach this one just like the others. Slide the new one in and then reattach. There's not a massive amount to say with this one, as it is fairly self-explanatory, but it has been widened just a bit to accommodate these long crates, and unlike the others, the rear bumper can be folded down to allow for easier loading. From here, you can just simply stack up whatever crates you want onto the back, and there you go. It might not look like much, but I think once you do add those crates and things on the back, then it does really complete the look of this does make it look at home in the Halo universe. I know that we do have the spade in Halo, but it does make me wonder why we haven't seen any kind of logistical vehicle like this before. It does kind of seem obvious to me that you would use the Warthog as transportation for things, but yeah, we've never really seen it in game. So there we go, these are all the modifications that I have to show off today. I know that some people prefer the studded look of these kind of models, especially as it allows you to easily add any form of modifications onto any set, but personally, I disagree. I personally prefer the challenge of using these generic bricks to build up something that's as accurate as possible to the in-game model. Just because there's no studs on the outside doesn't mean you can't use your imagination to modify them though. I feel like you can get the best of both worlds by using thoughtful, modular design. This allows your imagination to run wild a bit more as you can essentially build your own section of something and just swap it out for the original. I think that it would be great if Mega made more of their sets like this. I know that they have kind of done this with the Bizarre Battleground set, but how cool would it be if you could buy the Warthog separately and then you can buy the Troop Hog modification, maybe with five Halo 3 Marines. Or maybe you could buy a stationary turret like those that are in ODST, but then it also comes with a few extra pieces so you can adapt it to the back of your modular hog. For me, that's something that I would 100% be interested in buying. What about you though? Is this something that you'd like to see Mega doing in the future? Would you be interested in hot swapping various different parts of your sets? Let me know. I'm Reforger, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.